Welcome to Al's Custom Shoes. Today I will be customizing new shoes based on the animated film Frank and Winnie, directed by Tim Burton. Enjoy. Like all the other shoes, my first step is selecting the images. Once I do, I lay the groundwork on the shoes so that I know how the image will appear on the shoes. Making the image fit into the shoes can be tricky. So I first get tracing paper and then I decide to cut it into the shape of the shoes. Afterwards, I use the tracing paper now in the shape of the shoes to place it on top of the image. This helps me know how big and where the placement of the drawing will be when I make the drawing in the shoes. When everything is settled, I begin to paint the shoes. My first step is to cover the background before I begin to do any work or details on the drawings. When the background is done, I begin to work on the images. What's not shown in the video is that I keep my laptop next to me with the images. This helps me know how the painting should look like and I can use it as an advice to see how the color should be. Choosing the images is another thing to consider. Usually I try to pick a theme when I'm choosing the images. This can be based on our location, the mood of the character, or even the scene. But because Frank and Winnie is a black and white film, the images already feel similar in a similar mood. Regardless, I chose the images that represent the title, a spin-off of Frankenstein's story. In this case, a young boy with his monster, or his name, in this case, his dog, Sparky. That being said, although the film is in black and white, there is color. In one part and that is in the title which I do implement later in the shoes
and with these we are done we have officially done four animated custom shoes based on tim burton films please let me know which are your favorite what would you like to see next Thank you.